Hey everyone, Rob again here, and I'm going to discuss some latest business happenings with you. Uh, so Target has announced that they are going to be uh, eliminating several thousand jobs at their headquarters in Minneapolis over the next couple of years. Um, this is uh, an interesting move, and at first I thought maybe this was in relation to them closing their Target Canada stores, but uh, th apparently the 550 or so people who are affiliated with that have either already lost their jobs or are in the process of losing their jobs. So this is something totally separate to that, although I still have a feeling that there is some relation to that. Um, the uh, Minneapolis Star Tribune has uh, indicated that uh, one of the reasons why this is happening is that there are uh, a lot of overlap at the headquarters as far as uh, you know, people on multiple teams doing the same or similar things as other people on other teams. And uh, this is one of the, the things that can happen in a corporate structure, especially at a headquarters, where uh, you get a lot of uh, not only silos forming, but uh, a lot of uh, where one division or one department has no idea what other divisions or departments are doing. And I see this at my place of work. Uh, I've seen this at other places where I've worked in the past. And you know, just looking at, at business in general, uh, you see a lot of this. Uh, people tend to uh, stake out claims, and you know, it's like a little turf war uh, where they, you know, this is what they do, this is what they know, and everyone else be damned. Um, it's it's significantly inefficient and ineffective. Um, you know, not only just because of the redundancies, but generally, um, you know, people forget to uh, consider the, the consequences, both, in, both intended and unintended, of their actions, uh, you know, with whatever decisions they make, uh, not only on their own specific areas, but also other areas within the company. And, uh, you know, there, sure, there's, there's lots of good decisions that, that you know, can be and are made, but uh, what's good for you may not necessarily be good for uh, your colleagues down the hall or in another division in another city. Um, now, this isn't to say that everything needs to be committed to death because, you know, committees are a place where ideas go to die, but um, you, you, you really got to take a look at your firm and see what exactly is going on. And I think that's... Uh, what the uh, new CEO at Target is uh, doing uh, following their, well, Target's had a lot of bad news of late, but, um, you know, Brian Cornell, I think, is, uh, is, is doing some right things, you know, first by eliminating the, the um, Target Canada division that I've talked about in a prior video, uh, but streamlining uh, the headquarters operations. Uh, apparently, they've got about 10,000 people now. And you know, if they you know go down to seven or six thousand people, that may not be so bad. Um, you know, it'd be a lot more streamlined, a lot less stepping on other people's toes. And I, I you know, it, it's it's never good to have layoffs. But when you get bloated, when you get um, you know really out of control, like Target has, uh, unfortunately, things like this are necessary. And uh, hopefully. A lot of the redundancies and things of that nature will uh, go away over the next couple of years as they figure out what exactly they need and who they need in certain positions. Um, and uh, you know, I think I think uh, I, I, I like what I'm seeing out of Mr. Cornell, and uh, and we'll see we'll see what happens. And hopefully, uh, Target is a better company for it as a result. So until next time, I'll catch you later.